Can you imagine standing in front of a giant excavator, towering over you at a height of five stories? You look up in awe and wonder if this massive machine was built by humans or sent to us from another planet. But don't worry, it's not an alien invasion. It's the Caterpillar 6090 FS, the largest and most powerful hydraulic excavator in the world that was designed for series production. With a staggering digging height of 67 feet and a massive operating weight of 1,000 tons, this behemoth is equipped with the latest CAT technology features, such as digital monitoring systems and real-time tracking. But has this giant mining excavator always sported its signature yellow paint and Caterpillar decals? Let's dig deeper and uncover the fascinating history of this engineering marvel. Step back to 1995, when Syncrude Canada, one of the world's biggest producers of synthetic crude oil from oil sands, teamed up with Orrin Stein and Koppel, O&K. They joined forces and started development of the largest hydraulic front shovel in the world. They called it the RH400, and it quickly became the talk of the industry. This incredible machine offered greater mobility and a lower initial price than the well-established cable shovels costing around $7 million, while some of the largest cable machines were priced at around $10 million. With a focus on working in the harsh winter conditions of northern Alberta, special attention was paid to the bucket design, car body, and hydraulic systems. Two years later, in July 1997, the RH400 prototype was unveiled at the ONK Dortmund facility in Germany, putting the manufacturer ahead of Demag, the previous record holder for largest hydraulic shovel. Since then, the RH400 has made monumental waves in the mining industry, and even made an appearance in a Transformers movie through CGI magic over a decade after its launch. After all the factory testing at the Dortmund facility was done, the machine was disassembled and shipped to Canada in August 1997. Once on-site at Syncrude, the RH400 was reassembled by the same ONK team from Germany in a record 10 days. Now was the time for the massive 910-ton hydraulic excavator to show its new owners what it could do. Just a few months later, in December 1997, nearly at the time when Syncrude approved the purchase of the second unit, ONK announced the sale of its mining division to Terex a renowned American mining equipment company, based in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But other than the corporate colors, there were no major changes. The RH400 excavators continued to be built in Dortmund, as were all the other ONK mining machines. From then until the end of 2009, all RH400s, including the first two units, were referred to as the Terex ONK RH400. Within this period, 11 units were manufactured and shipped to various clients around the world. This is another unit that was also built for one of the oil sand mines in Canada, this time for a different customer, CNRL, Canadian Natural Resources Limited, one of the major players in the country's oil and gas industry. Compared to the first two machines, this unit boasted several upgrades, including a longer boom and stick for an extended reach and a new undercarriage with wider tracks to reduce its ground pressure. And this RH400 was one of the four units purchased by Citic Pacific Mining, the developer and operator of mining, processing, and port operations in Western Australia. This machine's hard at work on the company's flagship project, the largest magnetite mining and processing operation in Australia, supplying high-quality magnetite iron ore to steel mills in China. In December 2009, Terex sold its mining equipment business to Busiris Erie for a whopping $1.3 billion. During their short ownership, the RH400 No. 12 was built with plans to introduce it with the company's new corporate colors. However, fate had other plans. By the time it was completed, another major acquisition had shaken up the heavy equipment world. Mining equipment stocks are gaining attention after Caterpillar said it was buying mining equipment manufacturer Bucyrus International for $7.6 billion. The RH400 No. 12 was eventually released as Cat 6090 and found its home at a coal mine in Australia, owned and operated by Extrata, now Glencore. From that point on, the previously built machines kept their original color trims, but Caterpillar now owned the rights to them. Any new units manufactured after this would go under the name Cat 6090 FS and have the iconic Caterpillar yellow paint. In its current version, Cat 6090 FS is a massive 1,000-ton hydraulic shovel. It's powered either by two powerful Cummins diesel engines generating 4,500 horsepower or by highly efficient electric motors, delivering an impressive 4,291 horsepower output at a lower cost per ton performance. Its height to the top of the cab is 32 feet 9 inches, and its boom can be raised to the height of a five-story building. Standing next to the Mighty Cat 6090, the 46-ton Lieber excavator looks like a Mini Cooper parked beside a dump truck.
the fuel tank of this machine has 4,330 gallons of capacity. With the current gas prices, filling up this tank in the US would cost almost $18,000. Despite its enormous weight, this monster is capable of moving with a maximum speed of 1.2 miles per hour. With a maximum shovel capacity of 52 cubic meters, or 68 cubic yards, it only takes four quick passes to load the massive 363-ton capacity Caterpillar 797. The cab module mounts to the left of the housing. The operator's compartment, along with the latest state-of-the-art controls and diagnostic systems, has an adjacent lunchroom with all the comforts of home, including clothes lockers, microwave, water dispenser, coffee machine, toaster oven, and a refrigerator. During long 12-hour shifts, often in remote areas of the mine, and especially during the winter months, these niceties become necessities for the operator of the CAT 6090. Since 1997, when it was unveiled as Owen KRH 400 in Dortmund, this marvel of the mining industry celebrated its 25th anniversary in July 2022. Since that time, a few other hydraulic shovels with similar capacities have been put into series production, but none of them could become as large as the mighty RH400 6090FS. That's it, folks. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep on digging.